So what I'm going to demonstrate with for you right now is we're going to take an apple and use this to figure out a little about about histology sectioning. Cutting this apple open, we see we've got this one orientation. We've got the seeds inside, the pulp around it, and what we could do is just take a section of this area. I'd also encourage you though, to think about what happens if you take your tissue section in a different dimension, like this. One of the things to think about when you're taking your ultimate histology sections is how you want things to be oriented to each other. The orientation of the tissue is actually pretty important and it's gonna show you whatever you have, if it's this way or this way, is gonna be what you see on your slide. So once you've decided what type of tissue you wanna take, there are a few key rules to remember for the histology sectioning. Rule number one, the tissue can be no bigger than one of these cassettes. This is what our tissue is going to go into and everything needs to fit into there. Rule number two, the tissue can be no thicker than this cassette. So it shouldn't be more than three millimeters of thickness or else we won't be able to run it through the histology processors and the histotechnologists won't like you at all. Otherwise, the only other limitation is if you do take a section of bone, we can do that. You just need to mark on the sheet that it needs to be de decalcified. When you find an area that you want to look at histologically, you're going to take one of your cassettes, open it up. It pops open on this back side. You see it's got a nice little hinge that it flaps on. Open it up. And you can put in multiple pieces of tissue. You want to make sure they're not so small that they fall through the little holes here. But take a piece of tissue, put it inside, and just put the cassette lid on top. So let's take a look using one of these apple slices. This looks like a pretty nice section. I'm hopeful that we'll see eventually the star shape. I don't really need to see the seeds, so we're going to take those out. Cut it up. And you know what? If I'm thinking about this from the anatomy lab standpoint, I might like to see how is this questionable structure related to what I know is apple skin on the outside. So if I wanna see this whole representation, let's see, it does not fit in this cassette. So what can I do? We can always bisect it and take this area here like that. And maybe I don't need to see the whole star shape because I want to fit everything in one of these cassettes. So maybe I'll take an area like that and like that. And we can actually put both of these into the cassette. Ooh, that's going to be a little tight in there. So I'm going to trim it down a little bit more. So one of the key things about pathology is it's all about representative sections. This is a nice representative section. I feel like it does a good job of encapsulating everything that we saw from the original apple. After you've filled this up, all you need to do is clip on the lid. And then on the log sheet that you have in your room, you're going to make sure that you write down, everybody will have a printed number on here that will have your table number and then either an A, B, C, D, or E so that we can know the exact cassette specifically for your table. And you just need to write down information like this listed over on the side here. Go wild, have fun, and I look forward to seeing all of the amazing pathology that you find this year.